Hello and welcome to Train Simulator. Today we are looking at Armstrong Powerhouse's Class 319 uh, and, and that's pretty much about it. I mean it's not a 319 enhancement pack as far as I'm aware. It's just a 319. So, so here it is. It's a Southern Rail one today that we're on in the My Switzerland Advertising livery which is smashing. Anyway, uh, so that we don't get told off for being late. Let's just have a look. Eight carriages today, so that's fine. We'd best open the doors and let people on. Now, why is it lagging so badly? Why is this happening? There we go. Why, why are we lagging? What have I done to uh, upset you? Hmm. Right, get the doors open. And there we have it, travel the Swiss way. So this comes featured with its own uh, own passenger view, which is nice. Uh, and as well, for the 319, depending what sort of seat it has, each different version has its own seats, which is also very nice indeed. From the passenger view, you can see the doors open, which is lovely. Let's see, are we not lagging anymore? Doesn't look like it. Right, let's set the lights up. So we want tail lights off, day headlight, 656. And where are we calling today? Hello driver, first things first, load and unload passengers here at Bedford where you're booked to depart at 7.58. So we've got a few more minutes yet until blast off. You will then call at Flitwick, Luton, Harpenden, St Albans City and London St Pancras where we should arrive in just under an hour's time. Don't forget to change the destination blind and register the GSMR. Well in all honesty I know how to, fl how to uh, flick it on. There we go. Uh, don't know how to register it so we'll just leave it like that for now. Let's open the cupboard and not that side, other side and we'll have a look. How do we? Is it like that? How how do you how do you do that? Do we round to the way? Uh, are we not doing the destination? Does the destination not wish to crank? Nope. Doesn't seem to want to. There's probably a really obvious trick that I'm missing here. Uh, and to be honest with you, I should have read the manual then I'd have been uh, a bit more set up for this, uh, but no, it will not crank. There we go. Uh, there. Ah, there we go, Bedford. Why does it say Bedford on the front? We're not going to Bedford, we're there now. Hey, never mind, never mind. Well, the passengers seem to know what's happening. I mean, they, they've got on. Yeah, the passengers have got on, so they must know what's happening. Right, so we have the signal, and we are just about ready to go. And of course, despite me completely not agreeing with it, it's a driver-only service today, folks. With it being uh, a Thameslink train. So we have... I mean, I, I can't see the mirror out there. We're, we're assuming that it's ready to go. We have the interlock and off we go. So we'll we'll just go to notch two for now. We have that uh, the British Rail electric sound that you get from uh, well from all units of this era. The three one nine you get it from the three two ones, three two twos, etc. To be honest, they all pretty much. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't all have the same traction motors on uh, these units. So we're just going to accelerate slowly. I mean, to be honest with you, we've got a flashing yellow. So as far as I'm concerned, the next signal is a red. So there's no point in rushing. What an absolutely fantastic train. And then we've got the Leica mobile advert on the back. Now today we are actually running an express service, contrary to popular belief with all those uh, all those stations on. Yes, we are running an express service today with the 319. 
And I mean, I have included a download link in the description to, uh, to this particular train, to the Armstrong Powerhouse website. And the route that we're on is the Bedford to London St Pancras, which is available on the Steam uh, DLC page. And it comes with a 319, but that 319 is not as good as this one. There we go. So we've got the uh, got the feather or the position, not position light, uh, junction indicator, route indicator. One of those. All I know is we're going left. Got a nice two 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 whizzing past there. East Midlands train's finest. And it must be a refurbished unit, this one. Uh, despite the fact that it's a Southern Rail exterior, we've got a first Capital Connect interior there. First group's finest. What's this in the middle? Is this something that's broken down or just waiting for us? I think it's just waiting for us to get out of the way, to be honest with you. It looks like a 377. Is it a Capital Connect one? Yep, but it's got no headlights on, so... I wonder what's happened to that then. Eh, it's a 377, we'll assume it's broken down. Oh no, it's off. It's off. We can really uh, open up the throttle now, give it all it's got. We're on green signals, and we've not got a station for 8 miles now, so we'll see if we can reach 90. So we're up to 70 now, so we're well on the way. I mean, the acceleration on this thing's fantastic. Come on, activate that. We don't want to be coming to a fast stop. And it's fantastic. You, you have a full 3D passenger view, which is nice. And it sounds like something's about to drop off in here. It's really very loud. We'll, we'll go back into safety into the safety of the cab. There we go. Easily done it. Only took two miles to uh, to reach 90 mile an hour there. Fantastic. And I mean, yes, the 319, I don't honestly know if you need to have the original 319 or whether it is an, an entirely new model, because normally it's just under uh, as an enhancement pack, whereas this particular model is just 319 pack volume 1 so I don't know if it's an enhancement pack or not but I would thoroughly recommend it it's an absolutely brilliant train to drive I mean the 319 is not my most favourite train in the world it has to be said um, but it's an absolute pleasure to drive especially on uh, this London to Bedford line I've not spent much time on this route in all honesty with you. I mean, I know that I did the video on the, the full Thames link where we had the 387 and it was about three and a bit hours. Nah, two hours. Two hours. But yes, I, I know I did that video, but I've not spent a lot of time on this line simply because the other 319 that Train Simulator provided 
I didn't really enjoy driving. It was a bit basic. Um, the class 222, it's nice to drive, but I'm not a massive fan of the 222. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, it's the same to drive as the Voyager, which of course it is. They're, they're all from the same family. But I was just expecting a little bit more from the 222. But now that I've got this, I'm, I'm happy as a pig in mud. Really am. It's just a pleasure to sit and just watch the world go by. Oh, I think we need, uh, there we go, 75 warning signs. So we'll just uh, bob the brakes in one. There's no need to anchor on. A leisurely uh, slow down there. Has to be said, I, I thought we would have seen more traffic. Uh, this is an Armstrong powerhouse scenario that comes with the 319 that we're doing today. I thought we'd have seen a little bit more traffic uh, and had a bit more to look at. I mean, I don't know the frequency of the trains down this line. I really don't. And I mean, this is a fairly early morning service. I mean, the 7.55 out of uh, Bedford. But you'd have still thought that there'd have been a bit more to, to kind of see. There we go, back up to full back up to full speed before we start slowing down for uh, Flitwick there. Yeah, this train definitely sounds like there's uh, something about to drop off. I think we should tell somebody. Do we have a repair book? Nope, don't be looking for the repair book, you're driving. You shouldn't be looking, uh, shouldn't be trying to multitask. Right, let's see. I mean, how far do we reckon? Yeah, let's just put it in notch one now. At least then we're not anchoring on, are we? We'll come to a nice gradual stop. So yes, we are now fast approaching our first station, which is Flitwick. Or Flitwick. I don't know if it's Flitwick or Flitwick, but I'm, I'm going by the Harry Potter professor here, which is logical, of course, and he was called Flitwick, and it was spelt the same. So we're going with Flitwick. Do correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Like I say, this isn't my neck of the woods, really. That's what we like, a nice smooth stop. Oh, and there's another 319. I thought we'd never see one. That is a perfect stop, if I do say so myself. Right, let's get that open. Isn't that lovely? And I mean, I'm, a, I'm assuming that this is just a unit that needs repainting. Because all the other units are in the Capital Connect colours. Right, get ready. Time to go. So, door operation platform duties complete. Smashing, got the interlock. Ding ding, off we go. Well, there's no ding ding, because as I say, it's driver only. And the weather conditions are alright, so we don't have to worry really about wheel slip. What's the head code of this train? Uh, one Juliet eighty eight. So we'll we'll just sort that now. One Juliet eight eight. 
Is that not how you register? Well, that's the head code. It wants something else off us. Yep, yellow signal. Double yellow. Five, five, five. Lead driver, registering. I don't know what the last three... Ah, it's registered. I don't know what the last three numbers are, it has to be said, whether that's my driver number. Uh, I, I don't profess to drive trains for a living. I just drive them every now and then to, to put on YouTube. But no, I don't know what the 555 was. I'm sure someone can tell me out there what that was. But yes, I'm assuming that first bit as well is the head code. So we've got one Julia 88 there. So at least we'll show up to the signaller as to, to what we are and what we're doing. Oh, I forget, we'd, we'd had a yellow signal. Ooh. What's this? Is it another double yellow? Yes, it is. We'll carry on at uh, full speed. Full steam ahead, should I say. I mean, we have a timetable to run to after all, don't we? Yellow, so I'm assuming that we're following something. Yes, we shall assume that we're following something. I mean, this is a peak time service into London, as I say, so uh, I'd imagine there'll be quite a bit of traffic on the line ahead. Stand back from the platform, folks. No fatalities for us today. That's, that's not what we want at all. Uh, back up to 90 mile an hour. I'm assuming that we had to slow down there for the curvature in the station. Still following something. I think we're going to be following whatever it is for quite some time. And the 377 in the distance here. Give him a wave. I mean, I'm assuming this train is off to Brighton. It's just spelt wrong on the front. It, they spelt it like Bedford. No, I'm assuming this is a Brighton-bound service as opposed to just a St Pancras service. Oh, and a neutral section there. It's a long one. Or has the power just died in the wires altogether? Ah, there we go. You have to take the throttle off in the neutral section. I didn't know you had to do that. But evidently you do. See, we're, we're learning. Every day is a learning curve. That's, we've got to slow down for 40 here. Now why might that be? Oh, and it looks like we're on a single yellow signal as well. So we'll, uh, we'll just bring that to a halt. Obviously, with it being a 40 speed limit, we've caught up with whatever it was that we're following. 
just bring that onto step three because I can see the red in the distance. Oh, and it started to rain. Well, the weather's taken a, t a, a turn for the worst. Oh, I think I can hear something coming past us. The sad fact is, he will probably be on his way out of London by the time we get there. I mean, are we coming across onto the fast line? That would be nice. May as well just coast for now. There we go. We're on to the uh, on to the fast line. That must be what the 40 mile an hour business was for. Whoop! Bit of slippage there. Come on, grip. We'll, we'll just leave it in notch three for now. It seems to be struggling in uh, on full power. Try again. There we go. Happier now, definitely. Right, and now we are ready for full power when the back end gets over the junction. And I'm assuming we're not stopping at this station because it's not on the map. Excellent, 110. I don't think we'll be able to get to 110 by Luton. Well, as the unit is a max speed of 100 mile an hour, I don't think we'll be able to get to 110 at all. Unless we go through uh, a rather steep downhill section. Now it would be far easier for us if that East Midlands thing that's just gone hurtling past us didn't stop at Luton, because otherwise we're probably going to get held just outside. Because I know that he was motoring along at a fair old whack, but uh, I think we're going to catch him up otherwise. Yep, and another red signal, so we're best, uh, yeah, we're going to catch that fella up. He must have been stopping at Luton. It's a terrible shame. Although, hopefully, he'll have stopped and be out of the way by the time we get to this next signal. It's uh, the, the sad existence of being a stopping train. Get held for everything that stops at less places than you do. Despite the fact that I am technically a number one head coach, so I am, according to some, an express. Come on, Mr. East Midlands Trains, get your foot down. And again, we'll just coast until uh, until this signal. Or maybe we won't, because it's actually a bit closer. Ah, there we go. Right, notch three. We won't try four, because it doesn't like four until you're above 20 mile an hour. Or it didn't last time. Oh, don't 
don't seem to be slipping. Excellent. Right, well, we'll, we'll hold it at that. Into Luton. So then where have we got to go after Luton? Harpenden, St Albans and St Pancras. Lovely. And we don't seem to be having much of a timetable to run to us, and it doesn't fail you if you don't make the time for Luton, Harpenden and St Albans. Which is nice. I mean, we've got a vague timetable at the top there, so we should be into Luton at 8.20, so we're delayed now. That's not our fault, though, is it, really? Just leave it on notch one. Coast to a gradual stop. Professionally done, as always. And there's another thing there. Is that going northbound or southbound? be nice if we could fly past something. I think that one's going southbound, that 319. It's got the red tail lights in. Ah, we're late already. There's no point rushing, is there? We'll get rid of that. It's cluttering up the screen. Yep, it sounds like that one's going, so we'll, we'll probably end up overtaking that later. Now, where's my eight stop board? Do we just go to the end of the platform? Is that what we do? I need some sort of sign. There we go, eight, yes, at the end of the platform. Though I have no driver-only markers here, so I don't know what we're meant to do with that. Right, so we're on the platform, doors open. Oh, and at least there's another Southern Rail one coming the other way, so I'm not the only one that's left to go in for a repaint. Because I don't think Southern Rail operates far north, so unless we're just... Well, there's quite a lot to be seen around here. Another 222 coming northbound, the Southern Rail 319. Ah, it's a Capital Connect one, it says on the side. And obviously, my computer's struggling to cope with three trains at once. Well, wasn't that nice. Very pretty to watch as well. Right. Clock's off. Off we go. Not safe at all, because we haven't even got the screens. But uh, we'll, we'll just have to hope that nobody's trapped in the doors. Buzz, buzz, off we go. Full steam ahead, as it were. Nope, bit of slippage there. We're going to have square wheels by the time we get to London, I'm telling you now. For Harpenden in the next five miles, smashing. So let's hope that that other East Midlands thing that was in front of us has got right out of the way now, so we can really give this some hammer between uh, Luton and Harpenden. That's what we want, really. Oh, that didn't get very far, did it? It's only there. I thought we'd fly past it at speed, and uh, that'd be fast as well, and it'd be quite exciting, but evidently not. Although, if that's red, that must at least mean that there's something... Oh no, that's red because he's just gone through. Oh, and he's stopping there, that's a shame. Uh, we'll give him a wave as we pass through. Because I think he's stopping there. Terribly immature. Yeah, there we go. He's stopping there, evidently. Never mind, never mind. I'm sure there'll be uh, more interesting things en route. I hope there'll be more interesting things en route, or that, that we'll see other trains en route. There was also meant to be a Class 43. Uh, the Intercity 125 in the East Midlands livery, but for some reason my computer doesn't have it. I mean, I have all three HST enhancement packs, but it doesn't seem to want to load for this scenario. So there is meant to be a 43 roaming around, or maybe more than one, 
uh, roaming around in this scenario, but for whatever reason it's not. I can only apologise uh, for that. Right, so Harpenden is now on the horizon, and we're actually speeding by two miles an hour. I know the speed limit's set up to uh, for us to go at this speed, but we, we don't want the unit dropping in bits. It's like taking a 142 up to 125 miles an hour, it's just, just not ideal. And oh, we'd best actually start braking a bit more or we're going to go flying through Harpenden. It's a red signal at the end of the platform, so we don't want to make the... Uh, the TPWS have a uh, a field day. We don't want it tripping us. Ah, 377. We, we just need to break a bit more, it has to be said. Or we're going to go whizzing through. And that 377 doesn't fit on the platform. They're letting it out in front of us. It's got a feather. It's coming across. Do we have a bit of time waiting here? If we, if we zoom in. I know that I'm meant to stop a bit further down, but I don't dare in case I fail the scenario. So we'll open that there. Yes, they're, they're bringing it across in front of us. Terrible. So we're going to end up stuck behind that now. I hope it does just stop at St Albans. In fact, you know what? If it wants to go fast all the way down to London, I don't mind. Seems like they're out to, uh, the world is against us this afternoon. Or oh, this morning, sorry, it's half past eight in the morning. Yeah, the world is against us, which we, we're not all too keen on. Platform duty's complete. Well, that's alright, we're sat at a red signal. I hope that the dispatcher, if there is one, isn't trying to, to give us the tip. Nope, we need to do that. Right, off we go. Oh, that works as well. That's nice, isn't it? Ding, ding. Off we go. Oh, and it's stopped raining. We can uh, turn the wipers off before we wear the blades out. And I'm assuming that this position light in front isn't for us on the floor, the ground position light. Owing to the fact that we're a bit knackered if it is, we're not going to stop in time, I'll tell you that much.
What's this? Another 377 coming the other way? Looks like it. Uh, oh no, 319. So that must be coming across onto the slow line, so it must have had to wait for us. Oh, thank you very much. Give him a wave. Right. Nice chap. Sorry, that's that's me getting excitable and knocking coffee mugs everywhere. And to be honest with you, there are so many features on this train. You've got cab heaters, just looking the other way while we're whizzing down. You've got all these trip switches which all do things. Lighting on, lighting off. These, which are the auxiliary. And then this fan. Does the fan work? Oh yes, you can, you can whiz the fan round. That's exciting. And then other things. Oh, we best, uh... There's, there's lots of different things and, and traction reset. Oh, what's that? Are we... Oh, it's a double yellow. We best focus on driving, really, haven't we? As opposed to playing about with circuit breakers and uh, other things that aren't particularly that exciting. Now oh, we can carry on. The signals are all clear to St Albans anyway, so we're assuming that that 377 didn't stop. Oh, neutral section. And everything's died. Right, anyway, enough of that. Start breaking. St Albans is on the horizon. Now, yes, the only problem with playing with the 319 on this route is that I can't really tell you anything that interesting about any of the places. Now, a good YouTube uh, video producer would have actually done his research or her research into some of these places so I could give you some exciting facts but uh, yes I've not done that and I've not researched how to do the train evidently from uh, not being able to set the destination up I've just jumped in and uh, we need to just start stopping a little bit quicker than that or we're going to overshoot Ah, well, the signal's clear anyway, so it's not the end of the world if we do overshoot, but we don't particularly want to. You'd have thought there'd have been more people waiting on the platform for this peak time service into London. I mean, this is one service I'd have had down has been full and standing. God, that 377 can shift in front. And door release. I do like how these buttons function. It's... Oh. Well, that's wrong. We, we should have interlock. So if the doors are released, that shouldn't be doing that. Oh dear. Yes, we shouldn't have interlock uh, if if the doors are released. Uh, if the doors are released, yes, we shouldn't have... Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, platform duties complete. Let's get these doors shut and off we go. Ding, ding. There we go. That's the one. Ding, ding. I mean, I'm assuming that these are driver only. I 
forgot to reply to the buzzer there. I mean, from what I'm aware, the class 319 never actually operated with a guard on. Now, the Northern Rail variant, which you currently see in the Liverpool and Manchester area, that Northern Rail version of the class 319 had to be retrofitted with guard panels so that the guard could do what the guard does best. So I don't actually know whether these, I mean, they might have been taken out when they were at Thameslink, um, whether they just, I don't know. From what I've been told, they had to be retrofit to accommodate for the guard. Now, I could be wrong there. I mean, if you do know that the Class 319 operated down south with the guard, then please do, of course, let me know. I mean, having said that, this is the Southern Rail variant, so Southern might have operated. Now, no, Thameslink, I don't think they ever did. But maybe they did for Southern. I don't know. I mean, this is a Southern Rail liveried 319, after all, so maybe, maybe they did. I mean, what's this one at the back? Yeah, that's a Southern one as well. Who knows? Who knows? It's a mystery. Sorry, I'm waffling now. Well, I'll shut up, um, and I'll only chip in now to London. I mean, we've got we've got 18 miles, so I'll just shut up now and then let you enjoy this beautiful scenery, and I'll chip in if I feel uh, that it's necessary to do so.
Well, we're now fast approaching Kentish Town. Now, we're not due to stop there. You can tell that we're getting into London because the weather's uh, started to take a turn for the worst. It also means the track, starting, uh, the track layout is starting to get a little bit more exciting than just four tracks. Stretching out into the distance beyond, uh, there's a few... A few tracks going overhead, a few branches off. Like I say, not too familiar with this line, so I can't tell you where any of the tracks go. Which it would be nice to be able to do that, don't get me wrong. But uh, yes, so, so Kentish Town on the horizon. Now we're down to 30 miles an hour. It's going to be 30 miles an hour for the rest of the video now, actually. Well, until St Pancras. And I mean, it's not quite like Liverpool Street, is it? I mean, when you come in from the Great Eastern Main Line, there's so much activity uh, and, you know, things to see, things to do. Whereas us, we're, we're just literally stuck looking at 319s. And, and there's not all that many of them to look at, is there, really? I'm assuming that this is full and standing. They just all happen to be invisible, with this being getting into London for just before 9 o'clock, you would imagine that it'll be absolutely packed. Packed, of course, with happy people that are really looking forward to uh, walking out into London in this lovely weather and enjoying a really nice day at the office. Hmm. Yeah, if you believe that, you'll believe anything. Right, so it looks like that this is a Brighton service, because we're descending very shortly into the deepest, darkest depths of the St Pancras Thameslink A. So, uh, so we won't be in the main station, we'll be underneath, which is very exciting. Very exciting indeed. Has to be said, it is always nice, however, to go into the main station. Yep, oh, and a 377 coming up. On the horizon. And there we go, going underground. And we're in darkness. Whoops! A little bit of speeding. Oh, and we managed to get through the whole video without uh, without speeding. Let down at the very last moment. Apologies for that, folks. It was almost a perfect drive, and we got everywhere on time without speeding. Just ease that off again. And can we just coast 30 now? Nope, we're still going downhill. And there we have it, arriving into St Pancras Thameslink Platform A. Thank you very much for watching. Very shortly in the top left-hand corner of your screen you will see a quick button to subscribe. Do click it if you wish to see more Train Simulator things. Top right-hand corner is the latest upload uh, that I've put online. Why not have a look? It might not be Train Simulator, but you might just enjoy it. And the bottom right-hand corner, if you are looking for more Train simulator things to watch, uh, that's where you'll find them. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you next time. Goodbye for now.